Hello there, I figured I'd do a little update on the drop siphons that I did a video on earlier this year. I have two of them in my two different media beds. Uh, they both look a little bit different now. Uh, first of all, this one was buried underneath a whole bunch of bean plants and was completely uh, shaded from the sun, so it still looks pretty good. This one was out in the open, so the sun has yellowed it a little bit, but um, it hasn't compromised the plastic at all. So both of them are doing uh, fine with that. The one that had the beans all around it was all clogged up with roots, so it had stopped functioning. So the uh, siphon part was just stuck down at the bottom. Uh, for the beans, it really didn't affect its performance at all. Well, I guess it did affect the performance, but it didn't affect the performance of the beans at all. Um, mainly because the roots just started down at the bottom of the bed, so the bed stayed fairly well drained. And um, it just didn't need the function anymore. And I had just forgotten all about it until I pulled all the, the beans out and realized that it wasn't functioning. So everything got cleaned out, and um, I just put it all back together again, and now it's functioning perfectly fine. Now this one that was out in the sun a little bit, uh, some of the algae started growing on it. But I have not touched this for the entire season and it's still going. Uh, so I'm just going to pull it out a little bit, do a quick examination on everything. There were no roots getting into this at all. I was mostly growing some onions and a few other smaller plants in here so the roots just did not get uh, into the system at all. Overall, it's looking pretty good. There's no debris on the pipe. It's sort of like self-cleaning as it's going up and down uh, through the bottom, so not much is accumulating on there. Within the, the cup area, you can see there's some, some algae growth in here. It's really harmless. It doesn't even need to be cleaned off. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, so I'm just gonna um, check underneath here, make sure there's nothing under it. It's all nice and clean. And we're just going to drop this back in and let it keep on going. So that's about all I have for you for this uh, video. When everything works fine, there's not much to report. Um, I do have these as uh, 3D printable STL files available on my website. Along with, um, I can print these out and uh, ship them out to you. So if you're interested in that, uh, feel free to check out my site. At the end of the video, I'll just leave uh, a clip of this running so you can see it going through one of its flood and drain cycles. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.